Dr. Schultz is now using new MRI techniques to compare obese patients' brains before and after gastric bypass surgery. And today, I'm part of her experiment. First, she shows me a selection of high-fat foods. And the MRI scans my brain for activity, indicating my subconscious desire for these foods. Then, I'm shown healthy foods, and the MRI measures again. It's actually quite unnerving, because with this machine, you can't hide your feelings. Thank you. Later, she shows me what she's found. So, you've got some MRIs to show me. This is the, the activity in your brain, or the areas that are lit up, the red areas, the areas that are more active when you were looking at the high-calorie pictures, the pictures of high-calorie appetising foods. Mm -hmm. High-fat food was clearly having very little effect on my brain. This is a sort of representative MRI for someone of normal weight. Yes, um, fairly representative of, of that kind of picture. If we look, on the other hand, of someone who's just about to have gastric bypass surgery, you can see quite a big difference here. So this is the obese or overweight person's scan? Yes, this is the activation in her brain looking exactly the same pictures as you were looking at. Wow. This is an obese patient. You can see big That's difference. That's amazing. Yeah. That's huge, isn't it? So you're seeing a lot of activation in areas that we know are associated with reward, such as the orbital frontal cortex here and some of the ventral strait and the amygdala. The areas of the brain associated with addiction and um, emotional response to food. The blue was revealing the obese brain's deep desire for fatty food. So the green is her, the same lady, um, after she's had gastric bypass surgery about five months later. The patient's brain response to fatty food has now totally changed. So it's a really striking difference. Quite a isn't striking it? difference, yeah. If we were to compare this person's brain after surgery to your brain, um, so someone who's of normal weight, you can see there's not a lot of difference no. there. I'm really impressed. The operation seems somehow to have pressed the reset button in the brain. I mean, this scan looks like you have changed the brain of a fat person to like that of a normal weight person. In effect, what we're doing with the bypass surgery is changing somebody's brain fundamentally so that their, their reaction to seeing high-calorie foods is different, and that would ultimately drive their, their choices of foods so that they stop having that same battle with food that they would have had before and are more like someone like yourself who doesn't have that same battle with food.